Welcome. We're now just going to do a little demonstration about um, AC and DC generators and DC motors. So um, here is a store-bought um, dynamo. Now this is a, here we are, oh yeah. um, this is one that we've seen in class before. This is a coil of wire. Um, here, a coil around its armature. Oops, you can't see anything with my hand in the road. Armature there, and I can turn that armature, and hence the top, the coil, by turning that. Okay, and it is attached. Each part of this coil here is attached to a commutator here. Now I use this one mostly to demonstrate the. Um, the fact that it's a generator. So uh, we need to see the lamp. There's the lamp. Lamp is there. Okay. And so we've got here um, motion of the coil, motion of a coil in, in the presence of a magnetic field, and we get a change of flux. And as a result of the change of flux, we get EMF and a circuit being provided current is flowing. Okay. But our job today is to have a look at this being um, also a motor. So here's an older version that I use for this demonstration. Okay. Slide myself, slightly older. Okay, there we are. Now, um, once again, it's the same setup. We have a, um, a wheel up here which can be moved, and we have um, a, I'll just remove the magnet. It's a very old magnet. And here we've got the coil wrapped around its armature in the center of a um, two soft iron cores here. Now, I haven't put it, once the magnet goes on, then these become magnets. Okay. But I want to zoom in really, really tightly on this little device here. Okay, see if we can get it to focus. Um, this is the split ring commutator. So can I get that? That's probably better if it goes back there. So this split ring commutator is joined by these wires. Now this also acts as the um, for the generator, so it's going straight through this barrel. So don't um, worry about that barrel. And then it goes directly into the coil up here. Okay, so that black wire there is attached to one end of the coil, and this red wire here is attached to the other end of the coil. Okay, now if I put it on, I'll just turn it around so you can see it there. No, that's absolutely useless. I might try it the other way around. Just lift it up in a few seconds. Just give us a few moments to get it organized for you. There we are. Good. Okay. So I'm about to turn the. Um, so this actually is a, is a generator. So I'm now going to put the magnetic field on. So that magnetic field now makes this, um, these two sides here, um, which are just plain old soft iron that makes them now um, magnetic okay so there's a magnetic field around there and i'm just moving the coil to its vertical position at the moment okay to its position just there i'm about to put current into the um into the coil through these two wires here and through the if i can move it around through the split ring commutator Okay, so current is going to flow through the red wire, so that's the current in. So current is always going in through this brush, and it is always going to go out through this brush. Okay, I'll go the right direction so I can see it better. Right here. So hopefully it'll work. There we go. Just so you can see it actually working. If we really zoom in now on the commutator, 
rather than my fat belly. Let's go in there. Hopefully we can see things about this commutator. You should see, especially just uh, on this side over here, you should see sparking. The sparking is caused by the fact that this brush is sliding along the surface. And every time it makes contact with the other commutator, it will lose contact with this one. And this, this motion of making contact and making not contact creates a large electric, electric field, which causes sparking. As a result, the DC commutator, as you can see here, it gets quite worn quite quickly. Okay. Um, and they're one of the first things that go, um, uh, you know, the first things that um, fail on a DC motor. Okay. Um, I'm now going to increase the current and I'll just get to go again. Right. I'm going to increase and hopefully we'll see some back, or we'll hear back EMF. We should be hearing the chug, the chug. Okay, you may not have noticed it then, but um, there was a de definitely from my perspective here, when I did increase the current, there was a massive increase in velocity of turn, and then it settled down to a slower speed. And this is because as I put more current into this coil, this coil itself is a coil, so let's move it up there, this coil is still in the presence of a magnetic field. And that magnetic field, a coil turning in the presence of a magnetic field would itself generate EMF. And according to Lenz's law, this EMF that it would generate would try to oppose the current coming in through these two wires, the wires that are bringing the, I don't think you can see them now. Yep, uh, yeah, there's the one wire over here and over here. Okay, it's all reversed for me. Okay, so back EMF is a big feature of um, DC motors because every time we increase the current going into the coil, we will have a greater turn, a greater rate of turn, and as a result, we'll have more, um, more current coming out because this is acting not just a DC motor, it is also a generator. It is exactly the same as the generator that I showed you a few moments ago. Okay, thanks very much for watching.